What is good everybody, it's H back on another 12 Hub TV video. And today I am blessed to tell you that I finally got the shoe. The shoe, the one I talked about in this video. One of my best videos this month or past month, but no need to talk anymore. It's here, the Matthew M. Williams Zoom 4 Nike. Let's go. Let's look at it. Let's go. You have a lot of possessions. A lot of money in the bank. Possession make you rich. I know I don't have that type of richness. My richness is life. Pause. So I shot that video, I think New Year's Eve. When I got the shoe, I was real excited, opened the box, wanted to do the unboxing and all that other junk. But I gotta tell you the truth about the shoe. It's not that great. And right here it is. A few things, after I did the on foot, um, haven't gone out in it yet, but after I did the on foot, I noticed a few things and I think I commented on the video. So you could keep watching if you want after I go through this spiel, but I just wanted to give you a heads up that a week later, I decided to make this part of the video just to give you a heads up on what my final thoughts are on the shoe. Uh, the back heel tab right here. If you're familiar with the Element 87 and have sensitive back heels, this back heel tab will slice and dice your whole ankle if you're wearing thin socks or you know no-show socks, things like that. So you have to wear at least ankle high, maybe even thicker socks, because right here, I don't know if you can even see that. I'm trying to put it this way, but this thing will scrape you. So what I gotta do is, is put these protectors in here. They're uh, for high heels that women have. I have a whole bunch of them. I put them in my Element 87s and they kinda cover this up so it prevents it from scratching, but they're still very uncomfortable, that portion of the shoe. The thin meshing here is fine. It fits my wide foot. It's cool, but again, and I mentioned this in the other video, I don't like the thin laces and there's a reason why there's not enough thin lace here to actually tie. So it's really tough to get a good pull on if you have a wide foot to get the a good bow on the knot. And also the tongue is, it's, it's, it's very thin, but it's not wide. So if I'm not gonna, I'm pulling on a little bit, but you will, this, this portion will be exposed out. So you will see your socks on either side. I just walked around the house in these for a little bit, but I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. The Road Warrior, when I put it on, pretty comfortable because of the materials uh, and the zoom packs in the middle, the double stack zoom. This only has a zoom in the front. This back here is not the most comfortable, but it is, it works for this particular shoe. Uh, is it a statement shoe for sure? I do like the aesthetic still. Is it better than the Road Warrior? Probably not. <laughs> but they did a good job either way. Uh, this thing I'm starting to get a little leery of. You'll see my on foot now and, 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 and you'll figure it out. But yeah, again, laces, this back heel, trash. And uh, not as comfortable as the Road Warrior. But again, I have not put this through actual wear and tear yet. And I will get into that. I will film it. I will put it up here as soon as I can. So that's it. Let's get back into the video. Enjoy. I'm going to cut out as much like BS as I can though. So take what I say with a grain of salt. I'm going to try to keep as much facts in there as possible. All the hype that I'm talking might uh be you know a lot of it's hype because i'm hype about shoes like this i'm very hype about shoes like this so uh take it with a grain of salt a lot of the things that i say but not as good as the road warrior definitely looks a little bit better not too bad looking on feet either i'll give you that much so long story short do i regret buying this mm, yes and no i do like the innovation part i do like the aesthetics but is it something I'd wear every day? No. And then <laughs> going to the road because just because of the comfortable part, it's not that comfortable. But going back to the Road Warrior, would I wear that every day? No, because it's a camel toe shoe. It looks crazy. There's not many things it actually fits with. And you know, uh, why would you put something that expensive on your feet on a daily basis? 
uh, same as this, but this is more wearable, like I said, because it's neutral colored and it's 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 still dope looking to me, but you know. Anyway, enjoy. This shoe came out in December, I believe, December 21st. I think I predicted the thing right. I ended up getting a pair off of StockX that I guess it was an early pair that shipped out uh, pretty quickly, like it shipped out to me the day after I purchased it off StockX. I ended up paying roughly about 680 all in. You know, look at the, that's fine for with me. I, I opened it already, as you can see. I usually have unboxing gloves on and all this on. I didn't feel like doing the unboxing. I opened it already, but repacked it for y'all just to show y'all the innards. But yeah, check it. Same um, MMW boxing. So with the um, what's the branding? <laughs> Oh yeah, MMW on the front, you know, like right there. Uh, nothing special to talk about there. And I was gonna get right into the box. It has some wording on here. It says, we train with patience, train to incremental improvement. It is a ritual solidarity of solidarity and self-discipline. Yeah, some nice words from Matthew. Thank you, Matt, appreciate it. Ooh, lights. Uh, getting into the box. Nice wrap, double wrap. Paper, a lot of paper. And shoe number one. Mm. Shoe number two. So got the stock of this. You know, I'm putting it off to the side here. My stand is broken, by the way, from what you saw in the last video when I jumped fell in the last video. But yeah, that's that. Oh, and there's a surprise in here. A nice baggie. So we're, let's just get into everything. Let's keep it all in front of me for right now. Gotta get the overhead head cam back on. I have not rocked with the overhead cam in a few videos. So boom, let's put them in front of me and I'm gonna hold them up to the camera. So let's look at the bag first. The bag is very high quality. Usually they come with like a little, you know, like crappy bag, but this one has, Oh, it's nice. So it's it's a standard, you know, turns into a backpack type bag, and it has a zipper right here. Hold your stuff, and back has some writing on it. Nothing crazy, but not, nothing crazy, but very simplistic, but super high quality. Very good stuff, and it has the MMW branding right there, as you can see. All right, let's put that to the side. Let's go. Let's go. Let's look at this shoe. Oh my gosh, look at you. Only colorway out. Definitely wide foot friendly, as I predicted. Materials are awesome here. Definitely not a winter shoe. <laughs> Don't wear this in the winter. Very holes all up in the upper. Breathable, obviously. This. Honestly, this is the only thing I really don't, I don't understand or kind of like this. It's just some silver thing right there, but it looks crazy. Like it's, like it's a hearing aid or a slug. It looks kind of a slug, kind of a like crawling up the side of the shoe. But um, it is what it is. Double zoom in the front for the kids. The heel, nice, uh, the silver and the heel thing that like, gives a nice little pop. But like I said in my original video on this, just basic colors and stuff like that. MMW branding inside. They put like, like they put little straws in this John. Nothing. I'm gonna just do one of these. Uh, and then we'll do on foot. But yeah, the inside's nothing crazy. The shoe is blessed though. It's blessed. I love it. I love it so much. Both shoes kind of the same. Still got the stock X tag on this John. But yeah, as I predicted, this is definitely crazy shoe the laces are so thin like i've never seen laces this thin on a shoe to be honest with you uh, and i've owned a lot of different sneakers at the end of the day so this has some super thin laces and uh yeah i don't know what can do with those but um the shoe for it's definitely lighter than the road warrior let's put them up side by side get my road warrior yeah so the road warrior is right yeah yeah, Road Warriors a tad bit heavier. Like I said, they both have same traction, almost identical. No camel toe on this one. You know, the, the shape of the front is uh, about the same too. With the like the square. This one actually, this one's square. Uh, sorry, this one's squared off. 
this one's more rounded, but it is what it is, so very subjective. This is a, you know, like I said earlier, my earlier video is very refined version of a ISPA Road Warrior. So um, that is that. But this is a beautiful shoe, people. Give it its props, give it its flowers, give it its life right now. <sighs> Price point, a little higher than expected uh, for such a basic color, but I had to get them. And uh, prices are dropping, actually. I could've got this for cheaper, to be honest with you. I think I said that, but don't, don't sleep on it, like these, these designs. Yeah, this is going to be the future. This is the wave. And I appreciate that Matthew M. Williams did this for the culture. Uh, right up there, uh, it's in my sneaker of the year category. Number four, actually. But I give this a solid overall uh mainly uh, loses a point or two for the laces because they're so thin and not being all season i mean i will wear these and i'm gonna wear them tomorrow maybe but i'll definitely be wearing a thicker sock with it and like i said it's wide foot friendly you'll see the on foot and that's that so tell me what you think about this now that we see it in person like and subscribe. I'm gonna flip to the on foot in a second. But yeah, give me an idea of what y'all looking for uh, for 2021 from the channel. And we will hit you in the head with another one later. Love y'all. Peace.